Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now we are taking a slight break from the PC building series that I've been doing recently to look at something to do with OBS Studio today. And in particular, we are looking at how to use a dual PC setup to stream in OBS. Now, the reason I'm doing this is the plan all along for my new PC was to be my gaming PC and for my laptop to take on the streaming element. As I now have these set up, I was looking for a good way of setting this up. I do have an Elgato capture card, the HD60S, which is pretty good for capturing from PlayStation, my PS4, to the laptop. And I thought, well, how difficult can it be? It must just be a case of plugging it in, hooking up the gaming PC, hooking up the laptop, and then be good to go. Now, the problem with this is the HD60S only captures in 60 frames per second. And what it also does is when you plug it into a monitor, my monitor is a 144 hertz maximum, it caps the monitor at 60 frames, which is obviously not what I want to be doing when I'm trying to play games on my brand new PC. There are ways to get around this uh, with various ways of setting up the Elgato as a separate display, but the one I came across and the one that has been working best for me is the OBS NDI method. So I'm going to run through how to install OBS NDI, how to set it up and how to get it working. So first things first, we're going to head to Google and we're going to search for OBS NDI. Now this is currently taking place on my gaming PC. Um, we need to have OBS installed on here first and then we can click on New Tech NDI Integration, which is the top one. Um, it gives you various information about the release and what it does. But effectively, it sends the stream data over your local network. So your streaming PC and your gaming PC are both plugged into a network switch or a router and the data is sent over the network. So we go to, go to download and we're going to go for the Windows Installer EXE. It is available on Mac as well and there are some uh, zip files for the source code. So once that's downloaded we're going to double click on the Windows Installer. Okay that going to agree to this it installs it in the OBS studio folder and it also requires the runtime plugin so we can okay that and again it'll ask you to install the runtime as well which goes in OBS okay once that's set up we can finish that and then we're going to switch over to OBS so I've just rebooted my computer and rebooted OBS as well. So we are now back in OBS and if we go up to tools, we now have NDI output settings. So we click on that. I've already pre-populated this. All we need to do in this screen, this is from the gaming PC as well, remember. So you're your primary PC. Tick the main output and name the PC something that you'll remember. I've just gone for gaming PC. You can call it whatever you want. We click OK on that and what we need to do now is add our source into OBS. So what's effectively going to happen here is that we're going to capture a game in a source on OBS on the gaming PC. We're not going to do any streaming, we're not going to go live, we're not going to do anything like that. We're purely just going to capture the game source and capture the audio and that will get sent over the network to the streaming PC which is my laptop. I've got a game capture going which is for Little Nightmares so we're going to do audio output capture as well, create that, and that's just going to be the default settings. So when we activate the game, the sound will come through our streaming PC when we get to it. Now there are two ways that you can actually set up OBS NDI or set up OBS on the gaming PC. The method I'm doing is purely just to capture the game, capture the audio and ship that over to the streaming PC. However, you could in theory run your entire stream setup within OBS and then send that all over to your streaming PC. It's up to you however you want to do it. Uh, I just chose to do it that way so I haven't got to move all of my profiles and everything over to my gaming PC. I can just purely capture the game and the audio and send that over. That's all we need to do. That is the gaming PC setup. So we're now going to switch over to the laptop and we're going to set up OBS NDI on there. 
Okay, so we are now back over on my laptop, which is counting as my streaming PC. We have OBS open. We have done the OBS NDI installation procedure. It is the exact same way that I've done it on the gaming PC. There is no difference between the two. So when we're in OBS, we're gonna go up to tools and we'll now find that NDI output settings is there. However, we do not wanna to touch this. This is not our output PC. This is purely the input PC. So leave all this alone cancel that but to get our display up on sources in fact before we go any further one thing we do want to check is that our settings in particular our video settings match our settings on the gaming pc so i stream in 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 and at 60 frames per second they must match between the gaming pc and the streaming pc otherwise you may get some issues there so check those are the same okay that's we're going to go down to the sources tab we're going to add a new source which is ndi source we're going to click ok on that now we're going to have a few options to choose here source name if it's worked we'll pick up your gaming pc or whatever you've called it so we're going to click ok on that bandwidth we're going to leave at highest sync we're also going to leave at source timing that's just basically the sync between the video and audio if you have any issues then mess around with it change it to network but we're going to leave it at source timing. Um, you can leave YUV range and color space the same. Now, latency mode is something that you'll need to play around with. We have normal, which is safe, and low, which is experimental. Now, I've been using low recently, and I've actually been having a fairly good result with it. So I'm going to stick with low and click OK. Once you've okayed that, what you'll now find is that Little Nightmares now appears as a source. And this is me moving my mouse on my gaming PC. If I click resume, the game is captured as a source within OBS on our streaming PC. You'll also see is down here the NDI source outputs the audio as well. So that is game audio that is currently coming through. And that is it. That is the streaming PC now configured to pick up the output from the gaming PC, display it in OBS, and then you just basically stream. And that is it. Job done. Now, there are a few caveats to using OBS NDI. Uh, if you have particularly slow broadband speeds or network speeds, you may struggle with lag. And in particular, a big one for this is bandwidth. If you have a lot of devices using a lot of bandwidth, you may struggle when trying to send the data from the gaming PC over to the streaming PC. However, my partner was streaming a 4K movie on Netflix when I tried this, and I had no problems whatsoever. This method is a really easy and most importantly free way of doing a dual streaming setup between two PCs or a PC and a laptop. And even more importantly, you don't lose any frames or refresh rates from your gaming monitor by using a, a video capture device such as Elgato, which will cap you at 60 frames per second. So I highly recommend if you are running a dual streaming PC setup, give OBS NDI a go and see how you get on. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Take care of yourself guys and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.